Okay, so what's your view on unemployment? It's very sad. Sad waste of time for people. Okay. Do you think everybody it's... Needs, um, sorry, everybody needs to be, have something to do, or have something to get up for, have a mission. So you think it's sort of sad for people that haven't got anything to do? Yeah, yeah they've no, they need, they need uh, something, a mission in life. Yeah. And there's nothing better than a bit of work and satisfaction at the end of it. Yeah. Uh, it's quite a bit, quite a lot of work. Um, it's various in various areas. It's just a case of obviously trying to job match the clients to the jobs that are out there by um, upskilling them, by providing them work placements, work trials, giving them the two-week bedding period, and then hopefully they're moving into employment after that two weeks trial. So there is, there is plenty of work out there, it's a case of finding the right people for the roles. Mm. Unemployment, I think it's far too easy to stay unemployed, as dumb as that sounds. Uh, the way the government's got the benefit system, I've got a lot of friends who've graduated who are actually better off being unemployed than if they had a job, because if they had a job, then because of the way, obviously, tax and everything works, and you know, council tax, income tax, they'll actually have to pay off more than they would get if they just stayed on the dole. So it's a bit of a joke. Don't. That's right. One of the byproducts of the recession has been that um, people are applying for jobs and employers now are getting so many applications that don't even respond. Yes. To, in the past, yeah. it was it was also viewed as courtesy to just write to people and say, unfortunately, yeah. you've been so unsuccessful. Yeah. But now the amount of um, uh, applications that people put in that receive absolutely no response, yeah. or you, at best you get a generic email that says, if you haven't heard from us within 10 days, you have been unsuccessful, yeah. which is a token attempt, but still doesn't, doesn't help with the individual feeling devalued. So do you think that unemployment has been on the rise recently with the recession and everything? It does appear to have been, and, and, and just know from talking to our um, colleagues in the employability section, so they're about getting people into work or back into work if they've been made redundant, mm -hmm. and that particular part of our company has got massive, so that does suggest that there are more and more people yeah. you know, looking for employment. Um, it's a very old-fashioned term, blue collar and white collar. White collar are basically office workers, and blue collar were people okay. who wore blue overalls, and therefore that was what well, they their workers. So, um, what we're saying is that is that it's more office workers um, rather than manufacturing people yeah. that are, 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 are um, seen as unemployed. Okay. I would have to say probably the construction trade is feeling it. Uh, retail is picking up, um, but across the board, the, the majority of it is picking up now. It's just the construction. Do you think in general it tends to be people who are just coming out of education and struggling to get their first job or no, people? No, not necessarily. I mean some of the um, the learners that I've got for their assessor's qualification, mm -hmm. they're people um, you know who've had employment for sort of 10 years and yeah. then you know have lost their jobs and are looking to get a qualification that maybe can take them into different fields. Have a chat with them, see if they are aware ready, sign them up if they are, and, and they come to us and do a four week training course. They do interview techniques, CVs, um, mock interviews, so they get the full scope, and within that four weeks, we try and get them into employment. It's, it's, all, it's all about uh, upskilling, it's all about evidencing people's abilities mm -hmm. that sometimes aren't evidenced. Um, yeah. You can have people in job roles who've been in them for a long time and are superb at that job, but they don't actually have anything that, that shows that. Yeah. Um, and our uh, qualifications are very often there as an evidence of someone's capability yeah. uh, as much as they're there as um, a, a sort of orthodox qualification, if you will. Are you currently at E2E at the moment? Yeah. Uh, what, what kind of training do they give? CV building, key skills, communication skills, CSCS card, loads of them. Somebody looking for work who is currently out of work, what I would say is open your options. Don't think that you have to be finding a permanent role. We're finding in this climate that temporary work is certainly on the up.
Um, do you get an awful lot of applications for jobs here in your store? We do, we get lots. It's mainly young people and mainly students looking for part-time work. So uh, we do get uh, yeah. regular full-time applications as well. Yeah. So um, if you were looking for anybody, what would you do? Would you just rely on the CVs that you've got? or? Well, we do file the CVs. People bring them in mm -hmm. and I look at them. I have a little quick chat to the person. I make a few notes on the CV. And, yeah. and, and if, something crops up mm -hmm. in the future, then I, it just jogs my memory. Yeah, so you don't find the need to advertise anywhere, no, really? No, don't need to, no. If you ever would, would you just put a sign up in the shop window, or...? That works very well, when you're in a hurry. Um, yeah. Or even the job centre we used to use. Yeah. They'd screen people out for us. What do you think about the unemployment in Preston at the moment? Unemployment is pretty, pretty bad. So there's no help for people leaving university, and the university is one of the major universities in the northwest now and there's no help for the students to go well, I feel there's no help for the students to to help find a job. It took me a year and a half when I finished my master's degree to get a job and it wasn't even related to what I mm. wanted to do. But then I found and I found this job which is in the related field that I needed. Yeah. Basically as far as I can see the only unemployed people who actually seem to be doing anything are the ones hanging out shit joke books. So um, if you want to be unemployed, you just go and look for a job, I and mean, that's why you have a job. I could have a, I'm getting a job as soon as I have time to, so... Yeah. Are you confident that being at university is going to help you to get a job? No, being in, at university will hinder me, but if you want to get a job, you get a job. It seems quite, um, quite bad at the moment. I have friends looking for things, and there just doesn't seem to be anything. Everyone's chasing the same jobs, and... Um, very, very hard because they don't even anything part-time or yeah. find friends who are quite well qualified struggling to get a decent work. Yeah, so um, if you were to be having a position open in your shop and you were applying for vacancies, um, where would you advertise? I would most probably just advertise at the shop as it's on quite a busy street and it's generally part-time stuff that I take on anyway, so yeah. students, it seems to fit to fairly flexible and I, yeah. I generally go through that if I unless it's word of mouth if someone wants to be honest which yeah. most of the people I, I, I know a few people already that, <laughs> that want a job off me that can't yeah. have them. so it'll be like a word of mouth or sign in the shop window yeah mostly the shop window I thought yeah I've not ever needed to use the job centre as, as yet and what do you think about unemployment in the Preston area? Um, I know there is quite a lot of it um, I found it really hard to find a job when I was living in Preston but I moved to Manchester and I got a job really quickly, so... <laughs> Fair enough. So you think that at the moment Manchester's doing better for unemployment than Preston? Yeah, definitely. That's why I moved um, because I found it really hard. There was nothing really that I wanted to do. I found it quite scarce to find it. I'm a, oh, sorry, I don't know. Don't worry. I found it quite scarce to find any jobs in Preston. Um, and I just moved to the city centre and literally within about five days of being in Manchester, I found the job. And, been doing it for about four months now. Yeah, so you don't think there are that many opportunities generally for people in Preston at the moment? For people, probably not, because there's nothing new being built mm. in the areas, and there's no couple of things in Blackburn or yeah. local areas like that or Manchester that are getting better. But in terms of pressing, there's nothing at the minute yeah. that I can see anyway. Okay. I think unemployment in Preston is just getting ridiculous. The only people who seem to be able to have a job are the ones who already have one and can move up in their chain. There seems to be no jobs for students or uh, anywhere now, so in that matter of fact. And then in the summer, when they should employ the people who want to hang out, they don't. Okay, so you're not quite as confident that you'll be able to get a job at the end because of your course, or...? No, not at all, because to come straight out and go into a job is going to be harder, because to work up in psychology, you're going to have to be there for about another five years on top of that. But to come out in just a basic job, you still need the work experience, which you can't get, because you've got to try and bust your ass getting through to go there. Yeah. So you're not confident, really? No, not particularly. So you're feeling pretty confident about Preston currently? I really think so. Certainly from the office I work in in Preston, we had a record-breaking month last month. Um, we placed an awful lot of people and the permanent roles are definitely on the up. We're not relying just on temporary roles now. So I think certainly moving forward towards the end of 2010 that we can see um, certainly some good times coming for those people in Preston looking to change jobs and looking for work.